Hey, my Reddit cat cats and a Reddit cat rat. It's Ashlita. And I've decided to do a video of products I used to use and how I did my makeup back in 2013, 2014, um, when I was getting into makeup and thinking I was a professional then. Back then, my hands used to be crack, blistered, peeling, bleeding. They were awful and I would not wear gloves because I thought the issue was temporary. And I didn't know that it was making my hands worse. So today I am putting on the gloves to do my makeup, which is gonna be a challenge because I used to slather my foundation using my hands, not with gloves. So, oh, my glove told it. And I used to use this and I don't even know, it's like, it's almost out. Um, and I use the four in one mineral powder as well to set it, but I don't have any. Uh, and this is the closest thing to it. So I'm going to try to get this out somehow or another. I may have to use a brush to dig in. All right, so I used the end of this to dig in, and I used to not wear concealer, so I just smeared this in, like so. And then back then, I didn't use brushes too much, so I just used like a little sponge, like so, and pretty much, did I use a brush? I don't even know. All right. And these are the originals. I have the not so nude Stila and the natural. So these were very loved. Um, Shit. I don't even have enough blush to get in here. So, all right, so I got a little bit of residual here and I had this one brush that is apparently like still dirty. So I used to take the color Kitten, no, Buff, and just rub it like so all over my eyes. All right, now I barely have any fawn, but I remember doing that with fawn too and just um, using that for my crease color and just doing this. That's all I remember. Like, I was real sloppy. And probably this too. Probably doing that. Real sloppy. Then once I took Fawn, I would go into this one and I would take this color here. Oh, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. And kind of just go right here. Oh, uh, and that's called Innocent. And I have a guest. Hi, Mr. E. Then I would take Mink on the tip of my brush and just put it right here. That was my jam. This was my everyday makeup look. And then once I put it in this V, I did this right here. Windshield wiper motions with this one brush. Oh, and that's all I use, one brush. And then I took sugar right here. 
and just went whoop like that. No precision, no guess, just boom. And if that didn't look right, I added some more. And then I, I, sometimes I would even take it and just do this. And then if something looked unblurred or whatever, I would take a little fine and mink and mix it and then go back a little bit more. And then take it down and shadow in the underneath with whatever was left. Now for the eyeliner, I use the, and it would be dirty, I use the Maybelline New York Eye Studio and I use all the colors but um this is the espresso it's the one i happen to have in here and i still have some residual left in there so oh that's still creamy too so i just took the cap and smeared away and did the best i could like so and then take the other side And then I wasn't finished from there because then I went underneath like this. And if I need a little bit more, And then I made wings like this. Well, I fixed them, but it's hard to fix them like so. So let me hook them up a little bit. All right, so let's try to get some of this blush out that's dry and crusty. Um, and that's not gonna work at all. Do I have any blush in here? No. Let me see if I have another one with blush in it. All right, I don't. I don't have another cream blush. All right, so it was about this color. And what I would do is get it on my middle finger and I would And yes, I would take it up there, honey. Let's see how that looks. Honestly, it probably had some harsh lines too. I very doubt I blended that well, but I just smeared it using my hand like so. I had to make sure I got up over here, okay, on the temples. Then I took this brush, and this was like my powder highlighter, and I used, which one? This. I didn't know what the hell highlight was. I thought I saw Trisha Paytas uh, doing this back in 2012. So I took this, and I went directly underneath my eyes, like so. I really did. And I think I did it as, oh, in the center of my forehead. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's exactly how I did it. And then I took the Lorac Unzipped Eyeshadow Palette. And I have hair. I don't know whose hair. And I really didn't do my brows 
but if I did, I added a little bit of powder from this palette. And I just used the color uh, Unspoken, I think. So dirty, I can't even see. And that's this color. It's very love. My daddy bought me this back in, I don't know, 2011, 2010, 2011, something like that. And so I just did the best with filling in my brows. And knowing me, I probably licked it and helped it out. So, yeah, I used powder in my eyebrows, if I even did that. Most of the time they were just natural. And then, mascara. This isn't the exact, but it's close enough, and it's the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. And I actually did curl my eyelashes, so let me find my curler. All right, here we go with the mascara. And I actually did the tops and the bottoms back then. Um, I don't do the bottoms so much more because I noticed that my under eye sweats, so it causes it to transfer. This will take me five hours, so oh no, memento. I forgot how much I actually liked the mascara. I might be going back to that. <laughs> For lip liner, I used more of a purpley plumish color, but this was the closest I had. And this is by Milani, probably. Yeah, Milani, all natural. Let me line these lips. All right, that's it. And then I used a lip gloss. My hair hasn't really changed or the style <clears throat> since then. But I used like a light gloss. And I'm just using the Mally um, Mess Have Pink. Oh my God. And yeah, this is the look. Um, <clears throat> and that's, these are the exact products, or most of them, except for the, these two. And this is kind of like what I used on my eyebrows. But this is how, if I even did my eyebrows, sometimes I didn't. But this is how I highlighted and blush. No contour, no bronzer. This is it. This is my everyday glam, my um, off days, everything. This is, you know, exact. I actually miss this, I like it. Um, now they use like, um, it's in a little squeezy tube or you can get the airbrush um, spray worm one. But I loved Pure. But um, that's exactly how I wore my eyeliner. Actually, it's kind of still how I wear my eyeliner. I actually really like this mascara. I haven't used it in a while. It's probably old and probably going to make me go blind with it. Actually helped. But this is it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Hope you enjoyed this video.